Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq from the WE Vibes and in this video lecture I am going to explain how the zener diode provides the load regulation in a circuitry. So whenever a zener diode is connected in a circuitry and you are having a variable load resistor RL still we can provide the constant regulated output voltages according to the VZ that is mentioned on the data sheet of the Zener diode. So let's say in this case, this diode can provide the regulated output voltage is equal to 10 volts for the range of RL minimum to RL maximum. And corresponding to that, we have to determine the value of IL minimum to IL maximum what happens generally when the load resistor will start decreasing then according to the ohm's law the current requirement through the load will increase okay and corresponding to that if the load result uh, current is being increased obviously zener will allow the minimum current to flow through it why because ir is actually the summation of iz and il so if this is the maximum current that wants to flow through the load then obviously zener will allow the minimum current to flow through it and similarly if the load resistance increases automatically it will result in the decrease or the decrement of the load current and hence for the minimum value of the load current you will get the maximum current across the zener or zener will allow to flow the maximum current to flow through it for providing the regulation so in this way zener actually controls the amount of the current that flows through it between the range from minimum to IZ minimum to IZ maximum thus providing the load regulation. So let's start determining the value of the RL minimum. We will simply apply the voltage division rule and according to which we know that V load voltages are equal to RL over RL plus R into V input. If you will simplify this expression you can see VL into RL plus VL into R is equal to RL into V of I. Let's take the RL terms on the both sides. So you will get VI RL minus VL into RL is actually equal to VL into R. If you take RL common from here, you will get VI minus VL is equal to VL over R. And from here, RL, the load resistance is equal to VL R divided by VI minus VL. Fine. So this is the value of the load resistance and if we want to have it minimum value so for the minimum value of the load resistance we need to make sure or we can determine the minimum value of the load resistance by using this formula if we want to use the zener diode as the regulator okay. So let's just determine the value of the RL minimum in this case where you are given the value of R which is equal to 1 kilo ohms while the rest of the parameters are shown where V in is equal to 50 volts. So let's just substitute the values of the parameters. Since VL is equal to VZY because the zener is actually connected in parallel and obviously it, it will be providing the regulation and thus maintaining the constant voltages across its terminal. R is equal to 1 kilo ohms then V input which is equal to 50 volts minus VZ which is equal to 10 volt in this case. So 10 divided by or 10 kilo ohms divided by 40 will give you the value of RL 
minimum or the minimum value of the load resistance that you can use so you will get the value of the rl or rl minimum is equal to 250 ohms this is the value of the minimum load resistance that we will be using in this circuitry okay let's determine the il maximum since there is a reverse relation between the resistance and the current so the minimum load resistance will be providing the maximum load current so vz divided by rl minimum will be equal to 10 divided by 250 ohms so this gives you the minimum sorry maximum load current il maximum this is equal to 40 milli amperes okay now we know that according to the kvl vi is equal to vr plus vz so vi is equal to vr plus vz fine and from here vr is equal to vi minus vz V input is equal to 50 minus 10 volt which will give you 40 volts. This is the value of the voltages across this resistor. Okay. And from here we can determine IR which is equal to VR over R. 40 divided by 1 kilo ohms will give you 40 milliampere current. I R. Okay. Now you know that this is the value of the total current or allowable current. Fine. Since you are given the maximum Zener current, so from here I R is equal to I Z max plus I L minimum. Okay. So IZ max is actually equal to 32 milliamperes in this case plus IL minimum is to be determined while IR is equal to 40 milliamperes. So IL minimum will be let's just simplify it over here. So IL or the minimum load current is equal to 40 milliamperes minus 32 milli amperes which will give you 8 milli ampere okay so we have determined the minimum current and the maximum current for the load so i l can vary from 8 milli ampere to 40 milli amperes this is the range of i l 8 milli ampere to 40 milliampere corresponding to the minimum load current you will get the maximum load resistance so 10 divided by 8 milliampere One point two five ohms. So RL maximum is equal to one point two five kilo ohms. The value of the load resistance is from two fifty ohms to one point two five kilo ohms. So in this way, we have determined the value of the load current and the load resistances when the Zener diode will be providing the load regulation. Thank you for watching.